Hi all, in this video, let's discuss about how to create a customer in Odoo 50. So in order to create a customer, just go to sales module and when you come under orders, you can see a separate menu for managing customers. So just click on that and you can see some uh, few customers already created with few details shown on the Kanban view and list view. So let's create a new customer. Here we can choose whether the customer is an individual or a company. Then after providing the customer name, here we can choose a company name. So when you choose a company, you can see automatically the company address is filled here. And we can change the address type. So by default, the address type is set as contact. And we can add citizen identification, job position, then some contact details related to the customer, including phone number, mobile, email. title, then language, can give some tags. And here below, you can see option to add contacts and addresses. So it is possible to add multiple contacts inside a contact form. And when you click on add, here you can add multiple addresses. That is for each contact, you can provide contact address, invoice address, delivery address, and private address and some other address. So here you can provide name. Again, here we can provide delivery address, email, phone, mobile, and some notes. And after that, here, if you save, you can see that contact is added here and we have a tab sales and purchase in order to manage details related to sales and purchase here we can see the related salesperson then payment terms and the price list are managed on parent company So inside the parent company, you can set the price list. Then here we can set the delivery method that is shipping method uh, for this customer and some default details related to purchase. This includes the payment terms for purchase, then payment method, and receipt reminder. So we have seen in order 14 about receipt reminder, that is to send a confirmation email to vendor some days before the accepted receipt date, which is used to ask him to confirm the exact date. And here we can set supplier currency, then fiscal position, that is uh, used to perform tax mapping or account mapping. And some details related to point of sale. This includes barcode for this customer, then loyalty points. So these loyalty points are required in order to get some rewards. So these points are required by the customer as a part of a loyalty program in point of sale. And some miscellaneous details. Then here we have accounting details, accounting related settings for the customer. So this is also managed on the parent company. 
so here when you click on the parent company you can add the bank accounts you can set the bank and account number and some accounting entries which includes account receivable account payable so this uh, these accounts are used when you are generating an invoice or vendor bill. Then some internal notes. Here we can add description. And some details related to partner assignment. So this includes the partner level, commission plan, partnership, activation, level weight, then partner review. There we can set partnership date, latest partner review, next partner review. And we can also manage membership related data uh, for the customer. This includes uh, option to set a customer or company as a free member. And it's also possible to buy a membership from inside this customer form. Now above, we can also find some tabs. Here we can view the total meetings planned with the customer. It's also possible to add a meeting. So you can view the meetings in calendar view and you can view the opportunities generated uh, from customer, then the total uh, sales, total subscriptions created, that is related subscription, then total purchases. And here we can also see a tab. So when you click on that, you can view an on-time delivery. That is vendor on-time delivery analysis report can be seen for a customer. Then the total amount invoiced for the customer, then total vendor bill generated for this partner. And we have a partner ledger report. Then the uh, corresponding documents. So currently we don't have any documents related to this customer. Then you can see direct debit mandates. So it is so simple to create a customer. Now, when you come back here, we can see customer is created. Now, when you create sale order or quotation, you can add the customer inside the form. So here, you can choose a customer and automatically the invoice address, delivery address is added here. And the price is set inside the customer also is added inside the form. So this is how we create a customer in order 50.